right, with that crescendo, let's get the stream rolling. Good morning. I am Monkey Puzzle. Good day. If you're in a different part of the world that I am in, it's no longer morning, but I am learning how to wake up in the mornings on my vacation. So I can stream to you all. So we've got a little Witcher music going in the background. Apparently, there's a lot of YouTube videos that just have YouTube or uh, Witcher 3 soundtracks because it is quite good. So I am starting a new game. I'm going to try not to talk too much in the beginning here. We are going to jump right into it very soon. But yeah, I on Wednesdays and today is Friday, but I'm going to make Wednesdays Witcher Wednesdays on Twitch. And that's part of an overall new strategy of me trying to structure my streaming a little bit more so folks can know when to turn it tune in and when to tune in to find a game that they're interested in and then as i've been doing lately i'm going to be breaking down the vods from the streams to episodic uh episodic episodes <laughs> on youtube so we will be doing that so if you miss it here you'll be able to see it then or if you can't watch the whole stream you'll be able to find the parts you missed over there now, why am I playing The Witcher right now? It's actually The Witcher 3. Um, one, it's supposed to be a great game. It's touted as a classic, and I have not played it. It's like four or five years old now, but CD Projekt Red, who are much acclaimed for the love they put into this, are coming out next April with Cyberpunk 2077. And people are really looking forward to that because of the respect that they have for CD Projekt Red. So I figured it's time I get some of that respect my own, uh, for myself, for them, by playing their game. Uh, we tried to start this on Wednesday. I had a few technical difficulties, which I think I have ironed out, fingers crossed. So we should have a buttery smooth experience today, or at least pretty close to it. And later on in the streaming, I could talk about the details of that if folks are interested. The other thing about the timing of this right now is that the Netflix is about to start a Witcher Netflix series that uh, people are really looking forward to. That's coming up on the 20th. And what's today? I don't even know what the date is. It's the 6th. So that's exactly two weeks from today. So I think this will be really timely to have Witcher content going on with all the Witcher hype that that's going to cause. And that series apparently is based more on the books than the game. And I've also been listening to the books, <laughs> strange as that sounds, uh, through Audible. And I've, I'm through the first book of short stories. What's that called? The uh, Last Wish or something like that. And I'm halfway through the second book of short stories, The uh, Sword of Destiny. And I'll probably keep going um, through the actual novels themselves. I'm still learning what they all are, but they're really good. I'm really captivated. I feel like I'm learning some of the backstory for this, and uh, it definitely makes me respect the character of the Witcher and and uh, what it's meant to be, what it's meant to portray, and so on. So I have a little insult, ins, insult, insight. It's early for me, guys. <laughs> I didn't sleep very well last night, but I have my coffee. Some insight into Geralt. Anyway. So with no further ado, let's get this started. One uh, thing I have to say in the beginning, and hopefully everybody catches this who is concerned about it, it is a very mature game. It has a bunch of gore and violence, which seems to be pretty much ubiquitous in most games being played right now. Not all, but most. And one of the things I've kind of had to accept with my channel, uh, a lot of quality games are very mature. It also has a lot of sexual themes, even sort of pseudo sex and nudity i did add a mod as silly as it sounds that puts underwear on the characters when they're nude <laughs> you know and it's silly because i actually think that's way less egregious in my own court code of morality than chopping people's heads off or sticking swords through them but that is much more likely to get these flagged on youtube even if it's an animated female nipple that would probably still get age gated um you know and which has other effects i don't think i don't know about whether kids should see that or not that depends on what culture you are and, and, and your society and stuff like that but anyway i did add that mod 
So that will keep me from having to censor that stuff myself for YouTube. Here on Twitch, it wouldn't have mattered so much. And there is some cussing and stuff like that. So yes, mature game. If that bothers you, it may not be the game for you. Or if you got kids, then uh, I'll let you judge for yourself whether they should watch this. I, as usual, will be keeping my behavior uh, PG-13 or even G most of the time. Although I am going to go around slicing people with swords, so <laughs> I guess that takes me out of G. <laughs> anyway, that said, we're going to start this. There is... I can turn this off now. There is a, a big cutscene in the beginning. So I'm going to mostly be quiet for that, and it's the reason why I haven't started the game yet, and I'm just talking over my banner here, because uh, it starts when you start the game. So I'm going to go ahead and start this now. Let me turn off my little YouTube soundtrack here. Boop. Quiet. Okay. And then let's go ahead and start this game. So hopefully... OBS will pick it up here as soon as it starts. There we go. And we're in. So yeah, first a little bit of the splashy stuff. Very nice sword. And this is all skippable too, which is amazing. I see you gather before me. Hungry. Terrified. This part's very quiet for some reason. To your breast. Emperor Emir has marched his legion. Let me see if I can actually turn that up a little bit. Let me get my voice meter out. The game is actually turned up most of the way, but that part is very quiet for some reason. Let's see, let's crank that up. Hopefully I didn't skip it. Into our lands, laid siege to every fortress from here to the Blue Mountains. Re I gotta crack it up some more. And this game, for some reason, always stops when you minimize or when you alt tab out. So forgive me for that, but hopefully now you can hear it better. Abid and ravenous, he bites and bites away. Men of the North, you stand at the precipice. Your kings have failed you, so now you turn to the gods. And yet you do not plead. You do not kneel to dust your heads with ash. Instead, you wail, why have the gods forsaken us? We must look into the trials we failed long ago. In a time past, our world intertwined with another through an upheaval scholars call the conjunction of the spheres. The gods allowed unholy forces to slip into our domain. The offspring of that cataclysm was the nefarious force called magic. Yet we did not banish it, instead studying the vile arcane for our own power and wealth. And the monsters at our door, the unholy relics of this conjunction, the trolls, the corpse eaters, the werewolves, did we raise our swords against them? Or have we laid this burden on others? On so-called witches. Stray children taught the ways of foul sorcery. Their bodies mutated through blasphemous ritual. Sent to fight monsters, though they could not distinguish good from evil. The flicker of humanity long extinguished within them. <laughs> yes, their numbers have dwindled through the years. But a few still roam our lands, offering their bloody work for coin. To this day, they shame us with their very existence. The North bleeds! Flogged by war! The battles are the gods' whip, chastisement for our sins. And let us not forget the terrors, the scourges from beyond our world. The wild hunt rides the sky with every full moon. The Dark Raiders abduct our children into lands unknown. Some say they herald a second conjunction. Can we chart a course back into the light? Will we find the strength to banish the mages from our kingdoms? Unite around the warmth of the eternal fire. Now 
Why is the time of the sword and axe? None will fight this war in our stead. Nigh is the time of madness and disdain. Okay. Nigh is the time of madness and disdain. So that was a little bit dramatic, I would say. And let me get back over here and turn the volume back to something reasonable. And then let's see here. We got to take a look at the options real quick. First, let's see my volume's up to like 95. So, and after this part, it actually does get louder. Um, I'm going to take a risk. Turn these things up a little bit. Let's go up to 80. I appreciate that this doesn't blast your eardrums out when you first start. Um, we got to look at the controls real quick. So, well, that's the control settings. No, we're using key bindings, mouse and keyboard, as I always do. So I think I should be able to leave these pretty much alone for the most part. They're Z for lock on targets, a little weird, but I don't really use that a whole lot anyway, since I'm using mouse and keyboard, not controller. It helps sometimes with bosses and stuff. Um, and my brief forays into controllers have made me use it a little bit more. Very brief though. Modify attack type. Yeah, so strong attack is not bound, but you can do shift, excuse me, left mouse button. I could consider it binding it to a key as well. Um, there's one thing I do want to change though, which is dodge and I've already changed it good. Yeah, I've, it had that on alt, which is possible, but weird. I've got it on my thumb mouse button, top button. I got to remember that. And then call horse. Boop, 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 boop. I think we should be good on the rest of this. Steel is one, silver is two. And then these I have to learn the signs. Ard, Irden, Igni, Quen, and Axi. But they each have a keyboard number associated to them, so I don't have to necessarily do the tab wheel. But uh, we'll see if I get to that. And I want to learn these as quick as possible so I don't have to scroll through this menu every time. K is character, I is inventory, M is map. Enter just to get to the whole thing. Quest or J, like journal. N for meditation. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's a little hard to remember. I guess there's a L, L here. Meditation. <laughs> Um, crafting is O, which is weird. Bestiary makes sense. Glossary makes sense. Gwent deck. We will be playing some Gwent, and that's one I gotta remember. Okay, I think we're good. And just so you guys can see here, oops. I've got everything pretty much on high. I did turn off motion blur and blur. I'm not sure if I should leave depth of field, chromatic aberration on or not, but everything else is high. It's a four or five year old game, so I'm pretty sure I can handle it. And then same with this. I've got it uh, capped at 60 frames per second. It feels a little bit better for me unlimited, but since I'm recording at 60 frames a second, it will, I'm doing that for you guys. <laughs> It'll make a much, much better recording for you all to be recording at the same frame rate I'm actually playing in. So other than that, you know, I, I do 1080p, it's full screen, got hair works turned all the way up. Everything's all the way up. So we'll see how that does. Okay, so enough talking and I've actually got, oh, this is actually, I can't see that very well, can I? Gamma up some. Barely visible for me is about there. I just got a new monitor yesterday, yesterday night, or actually the night before. Just part of how I solve my frame jittery issues. Now, supposedly you guys don't see the monitor, just I do. Um, you guys see the frame buffer from the graphics card, but it actually made a huge difference in the recording, so I don't know how that works. But G-Sync, <laughs> I am now a proselytizer of G-Sync. Get it, it's good. And we can talk about what that is later if folks are interested. But anyway, uh, let me get into my dashboard. Uh-oh, for Steam. Why did you go over here? That doesn't make any sense. 
Why did you minimize my game? Okay. We're back. Okay, so we should start this game. I'm... I don't know how many... In. Am I 20 minutes in already? Wow. <laughs> okay, we'll have to uh, put that as a prologue in the YouTube episodes, because that's long. But on Twitch, it doesn't matter, because you can just go on. We could just... just chatting. <laughs> Although I probably should turn a webcam on for that, and a uh, little teaser, I did buy a webcam, and I am configuring it, and I may or may not plan to use it in the future. Oh god. Eeks! <laughs> Alright, so, I've got all the DLCs, but we won't necessarily get into them yet. Let's go ahead and start a brand new game. Difficulty, we can change this as we go along. Um, oh, it's not difficult yet. Fresh starts. There we go. Here's the difficulty. So, easy, less easy, hard, super hard. We're gonna go for less easy for now, since I'm brand new. I am happy to be ch challenged, but I don't want to die too much straight off. Um, and this is gonna be more of a story kind of game anyway. And I've got nothing to prove. This is a big question. When I started this on Wednesday, I had the tutorials on um, but they stop you in a staccato type fashion all the time to show you stuff. Now, I do need to learn more things, so I'm loath to turn it off, but I may get frustrated with it. We're going to leave them on for now, and if we find it too disruptive as we go along, then uh, we'll turn them off. I'm going to try to have patience, because, you know, I want to get good. So we'll turn them on for now. Let's go. We got a nice another cutscene to go here, which is also very quiet. Sorceress in black and white. That must be Yennefer. And obviously he's after the fact. Tracking. Sleuthing out what happened. Ooh. She's in the middle of two warring armies somehow. A lot of people died. You would think she is through. It looks like she can handle herself. Not a good way to go. Just an enchanted crystal ornament. Hopefully she doesn't need that. <laughs>
All right, I'm gonna try turning the volume back down. And hopefully, we'll be all right. Okay. We're about to start actually playing. Taking a bath, you gotta clean up before you start a new game. Why are his feet wetter than, more wet than his legs? I wonder, actually, that might have to do with the, uh, the No More Nudity mod I added. Have to speculate where he felt that. <laughs> you know I don't find that amusing. <laughs> I do. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the mod is working. It wasn't meant to amuse, but to prod you to hurry. It's midday. Unfortunately. You promised Siri you'd train with her. Go before Bessemir bores her to death with those etchings. So, later then. Mm. He's See seen a few things, judging by all those scars. Pull him and push him. He likes it. Man, look at the detail and the texture of that shirt. Hopefully you guys can see it as well as I can. I'm streaming this at a higher quality than normal, so hopefully that's coming through to you all. The textures look beautiful on my screen. Care Morgan. And this is the tutorial. So it's gonna introduce the game's core elements and they'll all be saved in the glossary. And then we can go to the options to turn this off at any time. I can't stand it anymore. I'm going to try to be patient. So I can learn. Oh, I'm not in the frame. Where's my mouse? There we go. I was out adjusting volume. Okay. So we're actually playing now. So, yeah, we can move with the normal keys. And the minimap is in the upper right hand. We'll see minimap underneath the minimap are there are objecti objectives. Yeah, that's pretty normal. And we can hold right click to use our Witcher senses. So there's a key hidden in here. Look for highlighted objects. You're running out of juice. I know. You might bring me some more once you're done training. Good stereo on the sounds. I did start this on Wednesday, so I know where these things are. I only got three hours into it, though. So once we hit the three-hour mark, or however long it takes to get there, this time... Lilac and gooseberries, of course. Geralt, then it'll stop be all brand new. my toiletries. <laughs> that sounds a little wrong. <laughs> all right, so it wants me to unlock the door. We are going to look around. So that must be the Ignis sign. That little triangle. Wherever there's a flame. We can talk to Yennefer some See, more. See, I thought Siri could stand to wait a little longer. It's uninstructive. Not to mention unreasonable. Let's be unreasonable. I don't want to be reasonable. Aha, uh -huh. so that's the way the wind blows. She sounds so posh. Go and train with her, then come back. It'll give me a chance to put my face on. Of all the women I've known, 
You're the only one who does that before. You've known many. What's it matter? Only ever thought of you. Good save. She liked it. Her face looks fine to me. But that's what all the guys would say. Alright, any other Witcher stuff here? There's this. Oop, so I got out of the frame somehow. Okay, Nothing examine that. Silver. Gold clashes with my complexion. You should know that. Oh, yes. You should definitely know that. Alright, I think that's all the Witcher stuff. There's a nice balcony here with a view. Let's go open the door first so we can get rid of that message and really get it. A good sense of the view. Unlocked. And open. So we got stuff to do downstairs. I can't sprint yet. But I can walk outside. Shit. Mountain pass is beautiful as ever. Oh yeah. Look at that. That's amazing. We got the clouds rolling through the trees. Fog. Mountain tops. We got the animation of Siri doing her sword practice down below. That's included. And we got birds flying off in the distance. Gorgeous. So we're in some big castle-y thing. Care Morin? Something like that? Nice. Yeah, so when I did the playthrough before, this was really jittery. It's not absolutely perfect now, but it's pretty good. Most of the jittery in this is now just my coffee hand. <laughs> All right, that's gorgeous. And actually, let me real quick, let me grab, let me see, we'll find a good spot and do, got to get some screenshots. Come into a thumbnail near you. Oh, you know what? Was it H? There's a key that actually you can toggle the HUD, and I want to remember what that one is. So we can take really good screenshots. I did turn off the camera sound for the Steam screenshot thing. Home. Okay. So you don't have to hear the shutter sound every time. Nice. Yeah, so... The more I look through the controls and stuff, the more I have respect already for this game. Just the amount of care they put into including the details really bodes well for this experience. Alright, hopefully those are all good enough. Okay, let's get one more. That. Okay. Cool. Turn the HUD back on, and let's go. Yeah, so anybody who's watched me play through before knows I am not a speedrunner. <laughs> I like to take my time and really enjoy the game. And really get immersed with it. And just enjoy all the textures and the details that they did so much work to include. Old witcher's fast asleep. Ciri's disappeared somewhere, of course. A little bit of shine on every link of chainmail. Guess she prefers practice to theory. Hmm. What? Time to wake Good morning. up, Master. These lessons so boring they put you to sleep too? Damn it. <laughs> After taking notes on ghouls and owl ghouls, wanted to rest my eyes a bit. <laughs> Making her nice slow picture that she break. drew. <laughs> no wonder she took off. John of Bruges lacks flair, true, but he's reliable. Not like the hogwash they print nowadays. She's tackling the pendulums, right? How many times do I have to tell her? Don't train alone. It only embeds your errors. Bring our young damsel to the lower courtyard. She wants to practice. She'll get to practice. 
Gotta admit, we've spoiled her. We've spoiled her? I've been saying it from the start. Siri needs a firm hand. Been saying that true. But you let her walk all over you just like the rest of us do. <laughs> Fine. I suppose I'm partly to blame. But this has to end. Now. They've both got Filling the cat eyes. Is not something to be taken cards. lightly. Siri must understand that if she's to become one of us. I'll see you below. So witchers apparently have undergone a series of mutations that makes them a bit more than human. And that's where the cat eyes come from. So they can be a match for the Wrong. monsters they have to fight. Now <laughs> it's harsh. So eager to practice. Strike. That's pretty cool. Whoopsie. Good save, though. And she's blindfolded. You're not in this circus, pirouette. Wrong. Footwork. Enough. Get down. I see why she wants to practice alone. What do you think? <laughs> this is wrong, wrong. All right, take off the blindfold. You've got work to do. Your reflexes are still slow. Maybe for a witcher. Think drowners or striggers will go easy on you because you haven't undergone the mutations? Though in your shoes, I'd fear Vesemir more than any strigger. Disobeying his instructions? Unwise. Well, yes, but that book was horribly dull. I know, and you know that's no excuse. <sighs> I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Better not. Better not. Vesemir said if it does, he'll make you eat a bowl of slugs covered in salt. <laughs> you. At, least, at least there's salt. Exactly. So you'd best behave. Come on, we'll practice with the others down below. Shall we run the walls? Of course. Of course. Is a witcher school or an elven bathhouse? To the bottom. <laughs> okay, I want to check a couple things real quick. I haven't seen any chats, so I wanted to make sure that uh, this is working. Yep. Chat is definitely working. You're all just being quiet today. And then uh, I also want to make sure real quick that uh looks like my voice is registering but i just want to make sure because i added that webcam and sometimes the audio gets disrupted when you add a new thing but that looks fine too okay so everything is good let's keep going and, uh, let me put something away okay resume maybe if you fall bison welcome Good to know you there. W and S for ladders. W and space. No problem. What did I tell you about breathing? Through your mouth, in rhythm with your steps. Falling from a great height can lead to injury or even death. Siri, cut it out. Now she was able to sort of climb down. I don't seem to have that. Sprint left shift. Yes, yes. Whoa! <laughs> down the hole. Beat ya. Sassy. First. <laughs> na, 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 na. Oh, I pressed E. There we go. A little awkward. But we're getting down. Blump, blump, blump. Oh Oop. no. Vesemir's got that.
Ooh, speaking of scars, everybody's got them. She doesn't have hers yet. Anything to say for yourself, young lady? I'm very sorry, Uncle Vesemir. Young blood craves action, I understand that. But when you fight a beast, knowledge counts as much as your silver sword. At the very least, you ought to be able to tell a ghoul from an owl ghoul. By markings, like unto the panthera tigris that in Zeracania dwells, and by the sickly paleness of its visage. Mm. So you did read the chapter. Still, you should have asked if... But you were asleep, Uncle Vesemir. So you did the reading. Why not admit it right off? Never pounce on an advantage as soon as it appears. Wait till it stands to have maximum effect. Uncle Vesemir's words. Well, you're a quick study. <laughs> Got him. Quick, but mischievous. Fine, we've talked enough. Geralt, you're with me, Lambert with Eskel, Siri with a dummy. Aww. Again? Stop groaning and grab a sword. All right. So it takes a little while before this think? game really gets Should going. We start by reviewing the fundamentals or go right to free well, We have train. to learn how to fight here. I actually like how they wrap this scene in. You'll see. Fundamentals. Should work on the basics. Even skilled masters need to hone the fundamentals. And Ciri's barely a novice. I like his little rope crisscross. Okay. Alright. Combat. Witches must be prepared to fight foes of all kinds, be they plate-clad knights, blah blah blah. Need to use a variety of weapons and combat techniques. The core tools are swords. Steel for humans and non-humans. Silver for monsters. Witchers have also mastered a simple form of combat magic. These signs are not as powerful as the spells wielded by mages. But they can be cast very quickly with simple one-handed gestures, making them quite useful in the heat of combat. They're also adept in basic alchemy. They can brew powerful potions, blades, oils, and bombs, all of which give them a keen advantage when fighting stronger or faster foes. Okay. Press 1 to draw the steel sword. Press Z to select or deselect the target. Okay. We can press Z on him. One, two, three. But it just wants me to just go ahead and attack him. Oh, he's selected that way. Okay, cool. He doesn't have the little dot. That's great. One, two. Fast attack. Alright, why am I stuck here? Oh, somehow I left the frame again. Okay. Where am I going? Uh, oh, I gotta do a strong attack. Okay. Left shift. There we go. Position, Siri. Footwork. Remember. Hit the dodge. Indicate a direction and press mouse five, which is my own little personal one. Okay. Wait for him to attack. Yeah, I got it. Oh, to roll. Okay, now we use space. Wish they wouldn't pause it each time I need to do that. Okay, I'm waiting for him to attack. What? Lost your nerve? I'm showing off, Carol. What am I supposed to pass? I'm fighting a dummy. Pretend now. Live late. Repost. Okay. Counter strike. Press it just before your opponent strikes to perform a counter attack. Okay. Kick him. <laughs> Kick the old witcher. Now, young lady, to bring All the right. day to a close, we we'll go over tab to the Into the quick. Let's start with Quinn. Access. We got Quinn. We gotta press Q. Siri, Quinn is sometimes called the Witcher's Shield. Now watch carefully to see why. 
Oh, nice. Okay. Who's next? Guys, Igni, Geralt. I want to see sparks fly. All right, Igni. Nice. If not for the Quen sign, I'd be a flame by now. Yeah, that wouldn't be a good thing to do, the old Witcher. All right, Geralt, come on. Oh. <laughs> Back to that. Well, how long you gonna make me wait? What the blazes are you doing? What am I supposed to do now? Hard. What does this do? See that, Siri? Art will knock anyone or anything. Time for Axie. Damn it. Okay, that just I makes him stumble speed. a little bit. Axie. Okay, press Q. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Enough. Damn it. There we go. Axie can really muddle your mind. Erden now. Show her, girl. Erden. Oh. He threw blood there. Oh, I'm bleeding. Had enough? See this theory? What's that do? Oh, it slows him. Throw a bomb. Don't worry, Siri. Quen will dampen the blow. Throw a bomb. Training bomb. Okay, and press that to make it active. The Q? Oh, it's the middle button. Oh, and I gotta aim that at him. Boom. Stand in the spot, indicated. Okay. Right in that spot. Nice. Combat tutorial is over. If you want, you can train with Vesemir to stop training. Simply sheathe your sword by pressing C. Any last words? Enough. Continue training at will. Okay. Yeah. Oop, I tried to block. Next. There we go. Ooh. I'm dodging. Come on, at the oh, I'm pressing the wrong button. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> It'd be nice on the old man. Okay, enough of that. Spared him. Just in the nick of time. Showed him, kid. See, now it's quiet again. Siri, get down here. <laughs> A little she devil. As soon as she's back, we'll set her to polishing all the swords at Care Morhen. Yeah, she just runs off right in front of them. Find that helmet. Siri? Make sure to find every last blade for you. Mm -mm. Something's up. What the? Ow! <laughs> That's freaky. And the weather suddenly changes. Oh, it's the wild hunt. Oh. He sounds very scary. No! Not Siri. Okay.
And it turns out that whole little training tutorial series was a dream. I like how they work that in. They teach you some things, but then it's actually part of the story as well. You all right? <sighs> Had a nightmare. About? Take forever to explain. Dawn, some way off. We've got time. Started in the guest room at Kaer Morin. I was relaxing in the tub, and next to me... Triss? Yennefer. Funny, isn't it? She's never been there. Seems so real in my dream, though. Was she nagging you about something? <laughs> mm -hmm. True to life, indeed. We'll find her. In the dream, I went and found Ciri. Then we trained. Those were the days. Hmm. Little she-devil. I've trained kids who were faster, stronger, but none had her character. Didn't end well, did it, your dream? No. The wild hunt appeared, attacked Ciri. I couldn't move, stood there like a stump. It was just a dream. That's the problem. It was more. In the past, when Ciri would appear in my dreams, something was wrong. She was in danger. We taught her how to defend herself from anything, wraiths included. All right, time to go. Be downing soon. Time to go. Wait. Show me the letter from Yennefer. Might have overlooked some hint in there. Didn't overlook anything. We were meant to meet in Willoughby. That's what she wrote. Meanwhile, one army or another burned the village to the ground. All we can do is follow her trail, so... Stop talking for a minute and give me the letter. Oh, how about that? It does smell of lilac and gooseberries. That's right. We're gonna read it, not sniff it. <laughs> not sniff it. <laughs> soon. That's the smell of Yennefer. Hmm. Nothing else to guide us there. And this What's game this really looks good for its age. I still have the unicorn? That's private. <laughs> That's private. <laughs> Very private. Aha. I understand. At least I think I do. Maybe not entirely, but perhaps that's for the best. Back mm -hmm. on topic. How's it look? How far behind Yennefer are we? Two or three days. Trail's fresh. But it looks like it leads towards the main road. It would be muddled there. Hmm. Wait. Hear that? I hear it. I smell it. Ghouls. Alright, we got some bad guys. Monsters. Continue. So if they have a silver health bar, we gotta use the silver sword. Right now it draws the correct sword automatically. But I could change that to have to draw it manually every time. Alright, we got these guys. Let's see. Come on! Oh, I don't have my sword out. That would help. Oh, that block didn't work. And my keys are not working very well. Where'd the game go? No, I don't wish to exit. Weird. Okay. Somehow I went over the OBS. I must press something wrong. All right. Okay, let's not get hurt here. Get back into it. How long are you gonna make me wait? 
Okay. I got one more over here. Oh, he's using his signs. I didn't even get there. All right, striking an opponent generates adrenaline points. Certain abilities you can acquire allow you to perform special attacks that require and consume adrenaline. Adrenaline points, your adrenaline points slowly decline when you're not engaged in combat. So, I guess that's the red one there with the little box around it. And then the yellow one above that is how much mana or whatever I have for the signs, I suppose. Okay. Of course. When armies pass, necrophages follow. Let's go before any more show up. So I can regenerate vitality by eating or drinking. If I went on the harder levels, I wouldn't be able to do that. Okay. So I've got some food in my slots right now. And you can walk up to your horse and just eat and mount it. So bread is on my five key. Yes. Why can't I eat? Oh, no. There's five bread, duh. <laughs> it's R. <laughs> okay, and then maybe we'll drink some water. And you can see our health climbing right up. Yeah, I can see how that wouldn't be appropriate for harder difficulties, because that makes it pretty easy. And then we can loot these guys, apparently. Get some venom and some ghoul's blood. Okay, that's just a piece of that same one. There's the other guys. And if we do the witcher sense, can we see stuff that needs to be looted? Yeah, we can. Loot the pieces. And you? Monster tooth. So, the fight was a little sloppy. Didn't help that somehow I went off the screen there. But hopefully that will stop. After this... Oh, the crystal skull! Oh, wow. Third skull in black crystal. Why do I think this is Yen's? Because it is. And because it smells like lilac and gooseberries. Oh, look. I can hear something. Whoa! Oh, God. <laughs> Some bad things right there. And we don't need another fight right now. Oh, look at that. Gather ingredients for Bina. Nice. White myrtle petals. Yeah, you can see them down there. That's handy. There was a fisheye effect when I did that, and I actually turned that off. We'll definitely get into alchemy. I enjoy that part of games like that. I did a lot of that when I played Skyrim. I had the whole little potion thing going on. I was making big money off of it, too. All right, we got all the things. We put the fire out. Probably good practice, huh? And then what sign do I have up? Speaking of signs. So, it looks like... If you have multiple items in your pocket, you can switch between them by using the scroll wheel. Uh, use scroll wheel to change bolts used with your crossbow. Okay. Let's use... Now, which was which? I don't remember them exactly. I probably want the one that was the shield. Oh, there it says, Telekinetic Blast, influences opponents' minds, deals fire damage, protective shield, magic trap. Let's put the shield up to start with. We'll use a little less food that way. Ever tell you about this sorcerer I knew? Of course Couldn't it stop is. stop talking about how useful they are as creatures. Because you can brew potions from their blood? <laughs> no. Because by eating rotting corpses, they prevent epidemics. Hmm. Did he know they eat the living as well? No. Really upset him, too. His it's theory collapsed. Damn in the bar for the horse. War is not exactly going our Ooh, way. Ooh, that doesn't look we good. We have a side. The <laughs> Northern Realms. Oh, cool. It stopped of its itself realms, before running into mean? things. Temeria and Edern are no more. Proud of its pledge to restore the people. old borders soon as he wins the war. Believe that? <laughs> Gotta believe something. It's what keeps us going. There's monsters nearby. <laughs> Some time later. We going? 
Bison was telling me to use targeting no. back there. Ooh, we got a griffin. Ooh. Snacking on somebody's horse. We got smacked. Not exactly sure why we're involving ourselves if we're not getting paid. You got a boo boo. Has it gone? Yeah. Come out. This guy's haircut, man. <laughs> Needs help. Gods, that was close. I was sure I'd end up like my mare. Provided you got lucky. Your horse died quickly, but griffins like to toy with their prey. Eat it alive, piece by piece. Oh. You'd... You'd like a reward, I suppose. No. When I got my little start last Wednesday, I was told that if I don't charge him, I get more favors later. And before I did charge him, which I definitely could use the crowns because I don't have any. But uh, let's try that. Let's try that. You don't owe us anything. You were in need. We helped. And they call witches heartless. Say they won't lift a finger without pay. They also say mice are born of rotting straw. Back to the trail. Like I said, leads to the main road and ends there, muddled. You seek someone? Yes, a woman. Medium height, long black hair. Seen anyone like that? No. But there's an inn here in White Orchard. Soul one around gets its share of travelers. Perhaps you'll learn something there? Besides, the inn keeps my cousin. Tell her Bram sent you. She'll treat you like family. Not a bad idea. Especially since that wound needs cleaning. Ah, beast barely grazed me. But well, he was way friendlier sure. than he was last time, Using so that already had an effect. Nice and cool, you know, straight from a cellar. Let's go. Okay. So, we've been going about an hour now. So, on YouTube, if I include that first bit, this will be the end of the first episode. So, for the folks watching this later, thank you for watching to the end of the first one. And there's going to be many more of these to come. I'm not going to race to the end, um, but we are definitely going to make consistent progress on this. Until we decide we don't want to, or if we get really into it, we may do it more than just the one day a week. And uh, just really immerse ourselves in it. But anyway... I've enjoyed this first bit, and here on Twitch, we're going to keep going, but on YouTube, hope you all will sign in for the next episode. See you there. Bye-bye.